Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Not a topwater edition, but this is where we catch largemouth bass and I show you how to have fun catching largemouth bass. So buckle up and hang on, it's gonna be a good one. Hello everybody, this is an intro. If I go over to this other side and catch some bass, if not, you probably won't even see this. So buckle up, hang on, we're in this midday bite. It is 10 a.m., we've caught some fish. We're gonna transfer over and see if we can continue using what we were using and catch some fish. So chatterbait bite on. is not good. Oh wow, that wind has picked up. So, well it'd help if I put my foot on the trolling motor button. That is that bean bait. This one weighs a little heavier than the average one. I like these better than any of them. It's... Oh, oh, we had a freaking, oh my gosh. My morning, it's been good. It actually took the uh, new bait, which isn't even a BFS bait, but uh, the jabber jaw from 13 fishing i got on a little bite with it today that's the only thing that's really worked this little thing is just almost too small i'm about ready i'm just going to show you that i can fish it i can use it i'm not making huge long casts because i don't really need to the lighter there was oh i yanked that sucker all the way out of the water oh my god that is a baby crappie look at that little dude well i, I was worried about getting hook sets so as you can see, oh, look out, baby crappie. Hang on. Oh, boy, don't you do it. Don't you fin me, you little beast. Look at that. Little baby. Little baby. So if you ask me, Charlie, is the new Dark Wolf Ultra still legit? I have to say, yes. Yes, Virginia, it's legit, and there is a Santa Claus. And pretty sure he comes from AliExpress. But the bite, oh that, oh that was a little better fish. Oh my God, come on, get on this thing. Might be better off to be fishing the. They're bumping it. I might need to switch colors. Might need to go to the green. Man, that wind is strong. That's why you guys, it's. It's a little tough fishing this. That's why I usually upsize. I go heavier. A lot of times I'll go heavier weights, just like you would on a bottom. Oh, man, that was another. I'm getting bumps. But a lot of times I'll go to a just heavier just for the fact of the wind. Oh, my goodness. This is gonna be a forever video because I'm actually trying to fish and catch fish. Right there, oh boy, that's gonna be a good one. Come on. It definitely, I like, I don't know if the, I could say reels like an overhand sidearm. For me, I don't like when I'm getting, there we go, that's a little, oh. Whee, that is a bass. So I'm gonna put now a, this is one of those new swim baits I got from AliExpress just picked up to go with these little bitty dudes. That snap is actually too big for this dude. So let's go with, that's the brand new one. That's a little 16th ounce, the Flashback, Flashback Mini Chatterbait. Let's just see if we can get, oh boy. Same kind of deal, he's light enough, you need to release point needs to you gotta let go real soon if you're doing a sidearm. Get him up there. Got one. Oh, another crappie. So it's like I'm telling you guys, it's legit. The brand new don't do this, but I'm gonna do it right now. The brand new Dark Wolf Altar with the fixed. They don't move, they're not dynamic. It's still a casting machine. It's a. It's just a good reel. Got a fish, Had a, got a fish, get out of there. All right, get. 
I wanted to catch one. Get in here on a chatterbait. On our new reel. Stop jacking around. Stop jabber jacking. That was on the jabber jaw. It's a different video today. Woo, man. We got splashed. Awesome reel. Get you one. Get out and get you one. I'll tell you right now, for 61 bucks, yeah. They get on sale for sure. That price again, I'll probably buy three or four just to put up. I don't need any right at the moment. I got two. I got two Lingles, two Zillions, Crotto BFS, Aldebaran BFS XG. I really don't need any reels. Doesn't mean I'm not looking at the Stees and the, even though I don't even like Tatulas, the Tatula Limited, I got that sucker in my radar for some reason. But this reel is a no-brainer. Dark Wolf Ultra. For sure. Get it. Get out and get you some. Oh, you know what? We're going to throw it right through. Even though it's a chatterbait, we shouldn't throw it there. Well, we threw it there. Nothing. Let's try them right here where we caught that other bass. Come. I got a fish. He come right through that wood. All right. I'm telling you. In the other video, this bait is legit. It's expensive. You can buy a whole bunch of Perbero $2 cranks. This is like a $12 bait. But man, that sucker, it, it is also one of those just a bigger, probably when you get around bigger fish, we'll get a bigger bite. But it, you know, as you just saw, it'll pull in the little ones. It gets through the wood pretty good. Bouncing off wood right there. It's just a good a good deal i like it i like it i like it a lot so far all right we are mud shallow we're starting up the mud um, oh, oh jesus i had a huge stick huge stick <laughs> i'm having so much fun before i leave i'm gonna try to catch us one more bass on a cheddar bait oh did i hit that stick again no i got a fish one more bass. Oh, that's a nice little chunk on a chatterbait. Yeah, out of the water. Now he's trying to eat that sucker. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. I might find a color right as I'm trying to leave. That is tearing him up. Our new Aldebaran is game on. Our Tetan has always been game on since day one, like a couple years ago. Eugene offered to sell me his. Eugene still has uh, two one-piece Tetons. Six, six. Oh, there's a pump. Six, six, ones. Eugene, back in the day, not sure if my recommendation or whose, he bought two. Uh, I started out with the 632 two-piece Teton Ultralight. Bought the 522 SUL and the 661 all within roughly the same time period. Like, I just realized how good that first Teton was, you know, just the, how tough the blanks are. Then I proceeded to break the two-piece rods by overpowering, like just going nuts. Almost like testing them, putting them beyond their testing capabilities. And I'm feeling little bumps. But I fixed them and they still work and I still, well, I used the 522 SUL. I got rid of the other uh, and they're still using it. I can't remember. I think it may have ended up with one of the Amish is using that rod. I shortened it up. I, I shortened the tip on purpose. I didn't have to. I just made it a little bit stiffer overall rod. I felt it was, it was kind of that in between. It was a little too soft on the tip. So anyway, awesome, awesome, awesome rods, the Shimano Aldebaran. So far, all of the Aldebarans have been pretty much awesome. The, there we go. Whoa, that is a jumping jelly bean machine. I believe it's a 
Matt and a few other guys still fish the original all the barons like back when the limited the ones before that the when they were just getting spools to put in an all the baron we oh dude it took our freaking tail do we even need that tail let's see let's see if, do we even need a tail if i had a skirt on a regular size one i would say no I don't even know if we need a tail. But yeah, but new, new Alder Baron. I like it. I don't like, right. I look at that angle. Yeah, I don't want it. But like top, side, this profile, like everything in the way it palms, I like. Got that one little funky angle to it, right? Guess I do need that tail. I guess I'm gonna get out of here probably. Yeah, it's freaking hot. It's hot, only gonna get hotter, it's noon, and by the time I get packed up and out, it'll be game over. I gotta put up all these, look at all those chatterbaits in there. I went through crazy chatterbait assortments and I ended up, the little dudes are the ones that caught the fish. But that's why I have them and that's why I throw the, you know, throw them on the BFS gear, but it's game on. I'm done. Whew. Stick a fork in me, Alder Baron. I'm done. Let's go. All right, everybody. I'm gone. It is way too hot. And I am way too hot. So we're going. Hopefully you liked that video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to Bass and Bonsai. But whatever you do, subscribe to Bass and Bonsai. But anyway, but get go out. Go Bass and Bonsai. And whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate those of you that stick around to see an outro. It's not all of you, I can assure you.